I'd like to go over three supplements that are really great at drastically helping to slow hair loss down. First supplement is from Jarl Formulas, it's Sol Palmetto. And this is extracted with the supercritical CO2 process. And basically what that means is it will yield higher concentrations of biologically active free fatty acids than just plain alcohol extracts which are usually the cheaper brands of Sal Palmetto. Um, so you're actually getting more potency when you go with this supercritical CO2 process because it's extracting it and you're, and you're yielding more of the free fatty acids in the Sal Palmetto berry, which is what you want. So this is really great. Um, 320 milligrams and two soft gels. That's how many you're supposed to take a day. But you're also getting 100 milligrams of phytosterols. Um, 40 milligrams of that comes from beta cesosterol. And the main thing that salt palmetto does is it'll uh, it'll help to normalize DHT levels in your body. Um, it doesn't totally inhibit DHT altogether, but it will help to reduce that um, so that. Uh, your hair loss will be greatly reduced. Um, the next one is from Now Foods, and this is a Pygeum and Sal Palmetto extract. Now this is good because there's a couple other um, things that are great at helping reduce hair loss, which would be uh, Pygeum extract and pumpkin seed oil. Both of those are really effective as well at inhibiting DHT and slowing down hair loss. Um, if you did a Google search on natural things you can take or do to help receding hairlines, slowing hair loss, things like that, you'll come across Pygeum and pumpkin seed oil. And both of those things are actually in this supplement. So what I actually do is I'll take my normal dosage of this and then I'll take like two of these. Four of them is um, what you're supposed to take per day. But because I'm already taking salt palmetto, I take two of these just to get some of those other things like the pygeum and the pumpkin seed oil. So it's like, it's more effective. And the third supplement that's really great um, is stinging nettle root extract. Now there's a lot of other ones that I haven't talked about. I just wanted to talk about these three today and then I'll talk about other ones in some other videos. But I think that these three supplements should really be the core um, when it comes to addressing receding hairlines, male pattern baldness or whatever. I just would like people to understand and realize that if they were to get on these three different products here, they could drastically lower the rate at which they're losing their hair. So, I mean, I'm not saying you're going to be able to cure your your baldness or your hair loss or any of that. I'm not saying that at all. And I'm not saying you're going to be able to regrow hair. What I am saying though, and what I'm confident in telling all of you, is that you can slow the rate at which you're losing your hair. Your hair is thinning. Um, how much that slowed down is probably going to depend on a lot of different factors, such as your genetics, um, how severe it is in your family, uh, what is your lifestyle like, are you getting a lot of sleep, <laughs> are you eating a healthy diet. These are things that you have to examine in your life to try to kind of figure out um, you know, how, how these different supplements are going to help you. But either way, I do know that by people taking these, they're going to greatly slow down the rate at which you lose your hair. I mean, it is scientifically valid. Uh, DHD does have a part to play because if it didn't, then those people that would be going on Propecia wouldn't have any success. And the fact, the fact of the matter is, even though they get side effects and can sometimes cause irreversible damage to themselves by taking those drugs, they nevertheless do get results as far as their hair is concerned. 
And a lot of these natural supplements and herbs and things that I just talked about work in the same mechanism, but without those side effects. So, you know, um, the body can recognize these things. They've been used for quite a long time by our ancestors. So, give it a go. And, you know, get on the things because they're not really that expensive. And uh, I guess the thing is, if you're concerned about your hair and you're, you know, you want to do something about it, those three things, in my opinion, should be the cornerstone, right? If there's, if there's one or two things that you should definitely take every day, would be the stinging nettle root extract, the saw palmetto berry extract, um, those two things. And if you can take the pygeum and the pumpkin seed oil, that's even better. And that's why I would recommend this product here because it's got all three. You know, so hopefully this has been um, informative for any of you. And you can purchase all of these supplements uh, at iHerb.com or VitaCost. I'm sure there's other distributors out there. And you might even be able to find them in your health food store. So with all of this being said, have a great day and I will see you later.